Man, I love starting an episode with chugging. Hey, what's up, my dokus? Jason here, bringing you back to more. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Randomizer, or Zwer. Last time, we began our randomizing journey by coming here to Windfall and taking care of a lot of things. We actually did get a decent amount of stuff. We got the Picto Box, the Iron Boots. We did get Maggie's letter, but we mailed it off. Um... That's about, uh, that's about all that we really did, other than taking care of a few side quests that we needed to take care of. And, uh, this time, we're going to be continuing our Zora journey by taking care of a few more side quests, because there are some things that we need to take care of in order to unlock other things. So, we're gonna do that. First off here... I'm gonna wanna sit here and point my can- Point the, uh... Picta box at the mailbox, because we're going to need to take a picture of a guy putting a letter in the mailbox. Here he is. We're gonna need to catch him in the act. There we go, we have caught him in the act. Now, will I miss... Yeah, I did. Dang it. They happen at the same exact time, so you can't, like... Uh... You can't do both, because... Both those pictures happen at the same exact time, and I hate it. Okay. Scare you. Then take a picture. And then I guess I need to figure out something, because... I need to wait for this guy to get there. Okay, so we got the Town Flower side quest, or at least Denari's side quest, which, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna need to take care of this, but not at the, not at this exact moment, because I don't think we have enough rupees to take care of it all. I don't even think we have enough rupees to decorate the town. So I guess we may just have to wait and get the per try to get the perfect shot. Took him long enough, my lord. There we go. That should be the perfect shot. Let's go show these to Lenzo. Second request. 
Show him this one. And then... There we go. Oh, we got Din's Pearl. That's cool, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and mark that down. We actually took care of both these, so we get that. Um, yeah, that's actually really cool. Okay, so from there, we need to do the Secret Admirer one, which means I have to go through the top of Zanari's shop again. Or not Zanari's, uh, Lenzo's shop again, so I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, so back in the top of Zanari, or not, uh, Lenzo's shop, not Zanari's shop. We're gonna climb back through here. And then stand back here. And take the picture. Because we don't need the deluxe picto box to do this quest. So we should be fine. Here we go. What are you gonna give us? A tingle statue. Lovely. Um, I think the only thing left here that doesn't cost rupees is the follow the thief one. Yeah. Also, I think I... Advertising Rock Spiral. I think this is actually... Um... The letter that we just got. So I'm gonna mark that down, actually. Alright, Chug. Uh, so I guess let's switch to nighttime. I will try, like, be trying to cover all the money mini games and everything. I just don't have. I don't really think I have the funds to, you know, do it with my luck. So for now, we're just gonna work on following uh, Mila. Of course, it's gonna chug.
just gonna keep following her. You don't want to try, you want to try to avoid, like, getting in her line of sight, obviously. Which can be a little challenging, because you also want to keep an eye on her, because if she gets too far ahead of you, she will get away and you won't get the item that you can get from her. Just wait till she gets up to the thing. Here we go. Pair. Of course, we get a hoy pair. <gasps> well, it's everything I believe that I want to take care of here on Windfall because, uh, anything else requires rupees, and I don't really want to. I don't really want to take on those without the a good amount of rupees. So what we are going to do actually is we can get see what the item is for Beetle Shop. Where is Beetle Shop? I could have sworn he had one around Windfall. Yeah, I seriously could have sworn he had one around Windfall. Where is it? Oh well, I guess we could... I guess we can, uh, sail. Start sailing to the east. As if we were going... following the game's story. Because there's actually two chests we can get... Or two things we can take care of in Pop on Pauper Nile, and we might as well try to take those out. Or at least in the Pauper Nile Square. First off, uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk to these guys, which I need my boat to, you know, cooperate with me. Let's see what we can get from these guys. And we get a hundred rupees. Wow, you're just wanting me to go back to Windfall, aren't you? I might go back to Windfall, honestly. I think I'm gonna wait a little, actually. Because we basically spent the entire first episode of Windfall, and I kind of want to make some progress on the other parts of the open sea. See if we can get some better items. And Windfall may not have all the items we need. But we'll see what we can get. Coming down here, there's a chest. And it contains a treasure chart. Oh, we are getting some bad luck here. Like, we're getting good good items, but, like, we're not getting any weapons, and that's kind of the issue here, is I figure we would have gotten at least one weapon already. Okay, so the only other, ch like, item in the square that we can get is, as of right now, is the lookout platform. That's because we have to defeat all the enemies, which I'm not even sure how to... Like, how we do that without a weapon. And I missed out on... Actually... I didn't even realize there was a beetle shop right here. Let's see what beetle has. <laughs> the 20 rupee is the silver rupee. That's funny. I'll take it. Because, you know... It only, it's, it's 20 rupees and it basically adds up to like 
180 rupees that we get. Anyway. I'm gonna see if we can defeat all the enemies here, because I want to see what this lookout platform has to offer. But I should also mark down these, because then there's nothing there. I already got the Choo Choo Cave chest. So we need the lookout platform, and then we'll be good. <gasps> Hello, buddy. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Or... You can, like, whack... It's not looking good. I'm trying to, like, get these guys- kick these guys off the platform. There we go. And, of course, he takes down the only one left. I don't have anything to beat him with. I literally don't. How am I supposed to take him down? There's literally nothing I can do. He's... He won't go over the edge. He'll trip. But he won't go over. didn't help any. Oh, we're just gonna have to come for back for this, too. What can we take care of on... Okay, yeah, we can... Let's just go ahead and head to Dragon Roost. Might as well see if we can get anything there. What are we looking at on time? Okay. I think we'll... Uh, take care of a few more things and then end off today's episode. That's just great. Apparently the game can't run an explosion from a bomb. But okay. So, we have a Hoi pair. There's a chest. Chest up here that we need to activate by smacking the seagull into the bombs. And that'll make the chest fall. The chest contains... Nehru's Pearl. Interesting. That's actually some really good luck there, because that just leaves uh, Feor's Pearl and we can enter the Tower of the Gods. 
even though I won't do it because I don't have a weapon. What good game? You're going to screw me. I'm just gonna take care of this and then we'll go get the wind shrine and uh probably end the episode there because though I want to you know try to be able to see how long how far we can get into the first dungeon uh, of course I slid off the edge well you know what screw you I'm gonna do some tactics here because yeah, through a simple speed running tactic, you can literally get up this platform. Yep, simple, easy, and says, screw you, stupid game mechanics. Alright, now that we have that taken care of, let's just go back to the wind shrine, get this, and uh, then we'll probably end the episode. And we get a golden feather. That didn't really help us at all. But, I guess with that, that's everything we can really take care of outside of going to the first dungeon and seeing how far we can get. And I think we'll do that next time. So next time on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Randomizer, we're going to head to the Dragon Roost Cavern and see how f just how far we can get inside. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Troops out a ton. Be sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.